Hello guys, my name is Fossils and Things, and welcome back to the Dig Site. Today we're going to be playing The Telltale Heart, which is um, actually a short story written by Edgar Allan Poe back in the, the mid-19th century. Uh, and it's a very well-known short story, I believe, and we're going to be playing it. It's a small little indie game made in the Unity engine, and it's a story, obviously, where... Well, actually, it's not obvious. Um, it's a story where we've killed our roommate. Uh, and uh, the kind of the voice is from we're kind of becoming very paranoid and we believe Why? we can hear his voice um, Why did you do it? in our head which you can hear right now and you can hear a heartbeat as well well that's kind of us going crazy and, and obviously he's buried underneath the floorboards so we believe we can hear him and he's still here and that's why the floorboards are well for the blood on my hands oh no never mind so we've got a bunch of objects around this room here as well so we've got plenty of notes which we're going to read and obviously um we are going to be inspected at some Do point by the police now i don't i've kind of played this once or twice already before i start recording uh and i have no idea how to avoid uh being kind of you know suspected and then uh detained what by the police but I believe we can actually hide some of these uh, objects around, so that might link us to the murder. So I think this is a Let's check. Think befits a lieutenant. Obviously, it uh, looks like we've been running into some financial trouble. Uh, and this old man, I believe, is our roommate, so we've ended up killing him. And there's lots of things linking, um, reasons why. Not too sure, but we'll take that. We'll link anything that has to do with money, because suspicion always leads to money. What's this note here? Thomas, I write in hopes that you may come visit soon. Not to see my only son. But I require your help. I require your help. Times have been tough as of late. No. Oh. My pension hardly covers the bills anymore. I have, in fact, had to bring in a boarder to help make ends meet. All seemed well at first, but as of late, I have grown weary. I cannot say for sure, but something is not quite right. Okay. I feel as though I am being watched. <laughs> Paranoia. I can hear them breathing in my room at night, standing over me. I do not feel safe. Hmm. Please, come help me as soon as you can. Hurry, Edgar. So this looks like we made this message. Do we write this note? Because we ended up with Edgar, and I think we're playing as Edgar. If I'm correct. Now, that looks suspicious, so I'm going to take that. Um, that could, you know, obviously, anything to do with money is, is, is out of here. We're not dealing with that. Let's keep having a little search around. I believe we can search this whole place before we finish. Uh, and let the, the coppers in. So, let's try and find anything else. That might be suspicious. So the opera house. So that's the 1st of April. That looks like obviously we've gone to the theater. So I saw a calendar in the main room. In the living room with the, the fireplace that we don't have on. How rude of us. Um, let's see what date it is right now. So it's the 11th. Um, is there anything linking us to the 11th? Because I don't think... Uh, they already want to come in. Great. Hmm. Let's keep that there for now. I don't know how it links us. There's another note here. Hmm. Delete that one as well. Okay, let's not keep the coppers waiting. Well, let's not arise suspicion. About time, it's raining out here. Hello, officers. We have a report about a possible violent altercation. We need to look around, okay? Sure. They're sneaking up behind you. They're not sneaking up behind me, they're in front of me. Hello, sirs. Welcome to my humble abode. Um, do feel free to look around. If you want any tea and crumpets? I'm sure I can whip some up. In the kitchen, away from you guys, just in here. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna be cooking at the fireplace. Actually, what kind of did I ever do to you? Do do do. I do. I do make a good stew, don't I? 
Hmm. I guess you do. <laughs> it's kind of weird that that pot's kind of following us there. I like how they're obviously 2D as well. That's pretty neat. It's not a 3D model. Obviously, it's going to follow us around. Do you hear my heart? Questions? Oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead, officer. Do you live here alone? Uh, no. So, no, I have a Is room. Is your roommate home? Oh, he's off visiting his son. I will not confess. When do you expect him back? He didn't say. He'll be back in a few days. Uh. He. He. No. This one. Oh, what? What is that noise? How can they not hear my heart? Is that suspicion? Deep under the floor. Are these guys suspicious? If I left something out, that's obvious. Oh, I'm so gonna get arrested. I'm like the worst kind of suspect ever. I should just confess the whole story right now. Say, so, yep, I killed him. I killed him. So is this his room? Huh. Yes, officer, any questions? Where were you earlier tonight? Um, was it the play? Interesting. And when did you get home? Thanks for your time. Okay, we didn't get that noise now, that scary noise, so... I think you believe me. That would make sense, because obviously I've got the play thing right here. Even though it's... Is, was it September? It said on the calendar? First of April. Maybe that calendar was just marking a certain date later on in the in the year. I'm just going to keep guessing of uh, what necessarily they want to hear. What things are a perfect alibi? Why did you do it? I didn't do anything, I swear. Well, I did. I killed you and and that's about it. I mean, I don't know why you're whining. I mean, you're dead now. Why do you have to play on my conscience? Oh, what was this? My cruel companion. This roommate of yours. How can he afford living in such a large house? I think he's a pensioner. Pensioner, hmm. Military or company? I've never bought to ask. You never right. mentioned it. Interesting. Well, my heart rate's going really fast. But that second question did didn't necessarily... Arise suspicion, I don't think. What do you do to me? You didn't give me your money, sir. You know, my father, I think it's my father, uh, is very poor at the moment, so I need to give him, you know, some, some money. Though I don't understand how I've been, not been searched if I'm arising some suspicion. Do no. you hear my heart? Nope, I didn't hear your heart at all. That heartbeat, that's nothing. That's just my imagination. Can you come here? Uh, yes, sure. How can I help, officer? Where did you say your roommate was? Um, uh, yeah, visiting his son. Did he ever mention a niece? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what the letter said, right? The letter in there. Um, yeah, his niece was coming to visit. Why did you do it? Shh, I'm gonna get away with it, trust me. So, I must have killed him somehow, buried him because of money, which I can get from the check, and I'll get this whole house to myself. Because I don't think this guy has any family, the roommate I killed. He was obviously retired, and, um, well, I guess he does have family, but, you know. This. Mm. Where are you? You or you? So, why is he over here again? We already talked about this, didn't we? What time did you say you got home? Um, short while ago, or, yeah, short while ago. All right, move along. Uh, why would I say I've been at home this whole time when... I clearly it? said I was at the theater. I was at the opera house. Do you want to hear my rendition? <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to do that. I think I might break your guys' uh, headphones if I do that. You guys would be crying. I don't want to do that to you guys. I'm here for entertainment purposes, not to uh, make your ears bleed. That's not why I plan Everything to. appears to be in order. Brilliant. Brilliant. Sorry for disturbing you. You know what, sir? Officer. I guess you got away with it. I did. Or here I lie. All alone, all alone, left to rot and turned to bones. Well, things happen, sir. I mean, I murdered you. I got away with it now. Officers, you have a good night. I hope those scones that I gave you uh, will feed you back to the station. Uh, and you have a good night. See you later. Once, improve your skill. Why not try again for another kill? <laughs> well, maybe I will. Good sir, maybe I will. Okay, guys. We got away with a murder. This has been the Telltale Heart. Uh, and Edgar Allan Poe short story um, converted into an indie Unity game. It's been very interesting. Um, I haven't actually tried it where I've lost, Why where I have been caught. Uh, but I have seen a few videos seeing it. 
so do check them out. Uh, there's other YouTubers that have done it as well. Uh, so yes, my name has been Fossils and Things. I've hoped you've enjoyed this short little indie oh, playthrough. Uh, and I shall see you in the next indie game, guys. Make sure you have a good day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Yeah.